Now this week's editorial segment is all about social media and how to make the most of this online experience. Many people don't know how to interact with social media websites, but once you have recognized the value and power of this online presence, you will start to reap the rewards from being involved with them. Social online networks have been, become a big part of many people's lives as a way to connect with others personally and pursue their interests. International business social sites have allowed businesses to form groups, to share information about their experience and grow an online following. However, many local businesses are not interested in becoming involved with sites that cater to the international markets. Now, local business media networks are creating opportunities for those that only want to reach their local markets. They're also a great resource for those that can't attend events or maybe live in rural areas to raise awareness about their business or organization to the urban community. Social media sites aren't just a glorified directory. They're an online networking opportunity that is still not totally understood. So today, we're going to run through the process of having a good experience by interacting with others and using these sites effectively. The first thing you want to do is join online networks relevant to your business or in your region. You can actually create a business profile and put your photo on it. Now, you don't go out to meetings or greet customers with a bag over your head. So let people see who you are to create a more personable online experience. Make online connections. This is your virtual handshake. Take the time to read about the other members and request contact. When you contact someone, include a short note that lets them know you took the time to learn about their business. Not everyone in the group may be in your target market. Now, if someone in the group wants to add you to your, their list, it is polite to accept. They may know someone that needs your services or may be a really interesting contact. You don't always have to do business with the people on your list, but you should know something about them. Share your expertise. Blog articles, share tips with others. Start a group within the network. For example, if you run a health club, you may want to start a group for people that are interested in being fit. Online networks are a great place to raise awareness about events, special offers, or just great news about your business. Be respectful of others. The old saying, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it, is very true, especially with the online networks. Do what you promise. If you're going to put something online for others to be aware of about your business, follow through. People may not talk online if you don't do what you say, but they will talk amongst themselves. Let people know which networks you are part of so they can learn more about your business. Now, Even if you don't have a website, this gives your business great visibility or at least a starting point. Schedule time to participate with online networks you join. Many business owners want to be involved but just don't have the time, so they are hiring people to participate because they understand the power of these online networks. Local online networks are a great resource for people in the community that want to know more about business before they hire them, so it's to your advantage to participate. We invite any business to register with our free media website at peopleinconnection.net, or you can log on to our main site at peopleinconnection.com, click on the free media link for information on how to become involved with one of the free media sites in your region that we have created for our members as an added bonus besides all the great features we already have available.